Coming from Cruiser Customizing here with Chucky from Barons and LH Oppers. Now, we're excited to have Chucky here to explain a little bit about one of the most popular selling tachometers in the market, both for Harley Davidson and Metro Cruisers. This here is the Barings Tachometer. Now, Chucky, where did this thing get to start from? Uh, well, tachometers have always been on the market. Uh, the reason we added this, there was a need for one that came with a, a nice billet housing, uh, one that had a little bit more fit and finish. And so uh, with our machine capabilities, it was a no-brainer to go ahead and, and do our own ground up. So the Barings Tach I've been running on my BTX since 2003. I haven't had zero issues with this thing. It's pretty amazing. It's really an easy item to hook up. Uh, it's it's multi-fit. I mean, it, it would fit anything from an airplane to a tractor. Uh, the, the only thing that has to happen is it needs to have an even number of cylinders, so it's not compatible with uh, a triple like a Triumph or something. So installation, like you said, is extremely simple. You've got uh, your ground wire, you've got the wire that goes to your coil, and then you've got power wire for both your light bulb and the tack itself. Exactly. I mean, liter literally, you could do this in your garage in under an hour. There's four wires. Um, and we could just go over an installation real quick. Sounds great. So basically you have your four wires here. Uh, your black wire is your ground, which we recommend you go to uh, maybe uh, the frame, if not run it straight back to the battery. Tachometers are in nature a very ground sensitive item. So the better the ground, the more solid, the less issues you will have with uh, the tack needle fluctuating and bouncing. So after the ground, uh, we can do our two power wires. We have a blue and a red. The red is power to the tachometer, and the blue is power to the light bulb. Normally what we suggest doing is just going ahead and twisting those together and running it to a keyed power source. Uh, you could do the positive side of the coil, you could do uh, the light wire, any wire that's hot once you turn on the key. You don't want to uh, wire it in to a hot wire that's hot all the time, or you run the risk of draining your battery even though it's a small light bulb. And then the last wire you have is your green wire, which is your tack signal wire. And it just goes straight to the coil to the negative side, which is the one that picks up the signal. Often we get questions about how do I attach this thing? It, it does, does come with do-it-yourself clips, so if, if you just want to use the scotch locks and you know run the wires together and clip it over, it will work. For those of you that aren't familiar with these little bad boys, this is what we call a T-tap. Uh, Kyle and I found juice, about 12 volts of that, coming through this wire. And what we need to do now is we put this around the wire, isolate it, pinch it down, and then take needle nose and really pinch it down again. If you want a solid connection, we would really recommend you hard solder it into the system. So when you hardwire a tachometer, when you solder it in, what are some of the characteristics you can expect from that application versus using a scotch lock? Uh, if, if you use the scotch lock, it's just the quick and easy do-it-yourself version. Uh, you're, you're losing a little bit of the, uh, the conductivity. And since this is basically taking an analog signal and transferring it into a readable signal, uh, maybe a little bit gets lost in translation, mm -hmm. or when you clip the scotch locks down, if you don't have a good connection, you'll get uh, a little bit of intermittency that you would not get if you hard solder it. Hard soldering is like uh, just attaching the, the tachometer straight into your factory harness. Now while we're talking about wiring, as you can see here, this here is a tack adapter and it has the same color wires as the wires on the tack. Yeah, basically there's two different kinds of ignition systems. There's a single fire ignition and there's the uh, tried and true dual fire. Uh, the dual fire is typically used on carbureted bikes, uh, which means that both the front and rear cylinder fire at the same time. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to have an adapter to help move the signal along. Where on a single fire ignition, it fires front and rear, front and rear. So we use the adapter to take the two signals and run them into one wire so that you don't get your tachometer reading half. So the tack adapter comes with each of the Barron's tacks that you purchase. That way, just in case you need it, you've got it. It's not one of those things where you install the tachometer like, oh crap, I need a tack adapter, tear everything apart, go down to the store and get a new one. Exactly. That's why this is so wildly popular, is it's a perfect weekend addition to your motorcycle. And there you go. If you're looking for a beautiful, stylish, chrome tachometer for the front of your Harley Davidson or metric motorcycle, take a look at the Baron's tachometers. They've been doing them for a long time, and they do them well.